You're watching a Barnes Atelier art tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to take a pencil that normally comes with a point like this one and sharpen it uh, to one that we use for drawing that's nice and sharp with a point like this one. It's a fairly straightforward and simple process. We just need a few tools like this sand pad, a utility knife, and I've also got some tissue for wiping away any residual graphite powder afterwards. To get started, you want to take your pencil in one hand and your knife in the other. And you want to take care to not whittle the wood away from this pencil like you might on a stick that will break it. Uh, the hand that's holding the pencil is pushing the knife and doing all the work. The hand that's holding the knife is just holding the knife. And so when you begin, carefully begin to remove the wood from around the shaft of the pencil. Every pencil that you get is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes you have pencils where the wood is really nice and soft and it comes off nice and easily. Other times the wood uh, splinters and you get a lot of resistance from the pencil. Uh, your knife also might not be very sharp. There's lots of factors that come into play when you're trying to sharpen these pencils. And with some practice, you will get very good at it. But don't worry, you are gonna break a few pencils in the process but this is very useful in learning how to do this and in, it's also a good exercise in patience which is applicable to realist drawing and painting. By the time you get down to the inside core of the wood around the shaft you'll meet some gummy residue that's used for holding the wood securely around the graphite just carefully remove this with the blade uh, gently and when you're done with that get your sand pad and begin sanding it because we want it a little bit sharper than uh, what's uh, left from just using the knife alone. In order to do this uh, again you'll be very careful not to push down too hard on the sand block uh, so as to not break the lead and you want to rotate your pencil in your hand while you're sanding back and forth. This will help in uh, keeping the pencil sharp on all sides, not just one side or the other like a wedge. So this will take about 30 seconds to a minute depending on your experience. Just take your time and before long you will have a point that you are happy with and once that's done, take your tissue and wipe away some of the powder because you don't want that on your paper and you'll have, be left with a point like this. So that's pretty much how you do it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and subscribe to learn some more.